Welcome back to the opulent oasis. We're out here at our 400 cubic yard pour. Taking a look at these footings that we got down here at the lower level. These are to build the retaining walls. They're gonna hold this whole house on the side of the hill. So we had to do a coordination and uh, RFI to get these walls changed because we had a one wall system that was gonna have a secondary wall that was up on the, uh, the finished floor height which was gonna cause the slurry to fill in from the wall to the wall. So we wouldn't be able to get any planting in there and it was gonna cause other problems. So we went with a larger footing, double walls that go all the way down to that same footing. In some places, it's probably close to 18 feet below earth or the finished grade. So that's why it's so massive and that's, that's where we are. And if, for those of you that don't know what RFI means, it's re request for information. So it's, you put those in email, you send them to designers, to architects, to engineers, to get information that you need to keep proceeding on the project for changes that you need to make or just questions as far as if you question it and you need to know if it's, it's being done the right way. If you find a discrepancy on the plans, and you need to make sure that that is the correct detail. You need to send out an RFI and find out just to confirm that you are on the right track. So most people that look at this would say it's way over-engineered, but we would rather err on the side of over-engineered than under-engineered, especially when you're talking about holding a hill, a house on a hillside and uh, wanting to retain all that dirt. So this will be, once we get this, uh, footing for this is about 3500 psi and then we'll start building the block walls on top of that which we'll, we'll switch to a 5000 psi to get that strength faster so once we start doing lifts we can start backfilling and getting this more of a working ground so we did the the footing at a 3500 psi because it's going to be the strength not as quite as quickly and it's a footing, so it's not quite as important as the retaining wall. And we switched to a 5,000 PSI on the walls because that's a quicker strength time. So we won't have to wait weeks for it to get up to strength to retain the dirt. It'll get, quick, it'll get stronger much quicker so we can backfill sooner and keep this job moving at a quicker rate. As you can see in these footings, we have these what we call steps. So they're formed at different heights to kind of match the grade. Otherwise, we would have to bring this footing in deeper into the hill, which isn't necessary. So we do the stepping to start stepping up with the grade, still keeping the depth that we need for uh, planting and uh, the engineering specs. But we step it down in order to not create these super tall walls. Go over to the benchmark. So this is what we call our benchmark. This is the finished floor elevation. It's at the top of this rod is where they take that. So anybody that comes in here to survey with a transit or whatever can take this and know that that's the finished floor of the house. So up on the street, there's a cap, which they verified what that elevation is. And they'll set this based on that. So we'll put a couple of these around the property so that people can pull from those as they need to for slab, for all sorts of things. And they need to get a height for walls, the pool bond beam. They'll be pulling from here to get that perfect height, knowing where they need to be. Because the grading and drainage will show them where their height is in reference to that. And then if in reference to this finished floor elevation at the benchmark, you can see how far down it is, which they will pull from here and they'll have big transits out here and know exactly where those footings need to end up. 
These are our clean out pools. The little kiddie pools won't work on this one. This is a 400 cubic yard pour. So we're gonna have probably 40 to 45 trucks come in and out of here. And they need a place to clean out, which we gotta do this to contain the concrete because we don't want that going out into nature. So we were gonna do a double pump on this, on this uh, pour but the, but the uh, traffic area was gonna get way too tight. So we went with a big pump and two trucks at the pump. So we're trying to coordinate getting those trucks in here and getting them out. And if we had another pump set up in here, it would get way too chaotic and things would start to happen that we're, we wouldn't want. So the two trucks come into this area, they pump into the, or they dump into the pump. They'll pull forward back in here clean out, uh, and two more trucks will come in here and move in and back up to the pump and start dumping while the other ones kind of create this, this uh, rotating dance. We're doing this, this footing pour down below in, in one pour today, and as soon as that's set, tomorrow they'll strip all the forms off of those steps and the block guys will move in and start setting up block on Monday or in a few days, they'll start setting block on, this, on the footing. So it's a pretty quick turnaround as far as getting to block. But then when we start pouring the grout in the walls, then we need to pay attention to make sure that we get to strength. So we'll do core samples and make sure that the brakes are, are good before we start backfilling. Once we start on these bottom walls, the concrete guys will come back in here and start digging these footings up above for these retaining walls. So we'll have different things going on on different parts of the site, and that's where the coordination comes in, where we have to move people around so they can work around each other and keep the project moving. Because the biggest plan is just to keep everybody moving and keep the uh, job site progressing. Hey guys, I just want to say thanks for stopping by the opulent oasis. As you can see, this project is going to take 30 to 36 months to get out of here. But uh, there's a lot that's going to go into this place. So stick around, keep watching the videos. We'll see you later. <laughs>